What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out funniest WWE bloopers of 2022, man. It's been some funny moments in WWE this year. Of course, the noticeable Usy stuff with uh Sami Zayn and the bloodline has probably been some of the best stuff, best funny moments of this year for sure. So we're gonna check out some more of these bloopers, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Let's get right into this thing, man. WWE wrestlers are professionals, but even they make mistakes from time to time, and often, they're pretty funny. Like what happened to Braun Strowman. One of the best returns of 2022 was the Monster Among Men. Strowman left a path of destruction oh, he upon failed. the WWE, yeah, I but remember. he didn't exactly get started on the right foot. Braun charged up the Strowman Express, but the train ended up derailing when the big man tripped Woo! and fell to the ground. <laughs> quickly, and it all ended fine. But it was funny to see Woo! the big monster slip up during his WWE be comeback. However, Strowman's blooper was way less embarrassing compared to Kofi Kingston's. Kofi is the master of coming up with creative ways to avoid elimination in the Royal Rumble. However, he started to have some mishaps, like when he slipped and smashed his ribs into the ring post at the oh. 2017 Royal Rumble, or the botched save with Xavier Woods in the 2019 match. At least Kofi avoided elimination in both of those incidents, but not so much in the 2022 Royal Rumble. Oh. Kingston came in like a house of fire, but got oh, yeah, I remember. by Kevin Owens. Kofi was supposed to avoid elimination in yeah. the barricade, but unfortunately, His both feet. of Kofi's feet hit the floor. Yeah. WWE had no choice but to go off script, and thus Kingston was eliminated in 20. Yeah, they 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 actually had to call an audible there. They had to stay true to the rules. His feet did hit the bottom, uh, hit the hit the floor below. He was trying to hold it up where it didn't, and he ultimately had to. They had to call an audible, and he had to be eliminated. One second. After losing a fatal five-way match the previous week, Sami Zayn met with Roman and the Usos to redeem himself. Reigns told Zayn he would need to occupy Drew McIntyre and get inside the Scottish Warrior's head. Sami then went on to describe exactly how he would do that. Yes, I get in people's head. I make myself comfortable in there. I'm doing a little dance. He can't. So dance you that, I'm in his head doing the dance. Yeah, right. I don't know if Sami Zayn's <laughs> dance got through McIntyre's head, but it certainly got into Romans and the Usos, causing them to laugh. And break <laughs> this wasn't the last time Sammy did this either. About a month Sammy later, Sammy is a Jay national gym, bro. Came out to the ring. Jay Uso began to lash out at Sami Zayn. This is so good. Love this moment. Roman and one half of the unified tag team champions. Sammy managed to defuse the situation, but did his job a bit too well. Lately, he just hasn't been, been feeling oozy. <laughs> An Usi chant immediately started coming from the crowd, and it took over 40 seconds before Roman was able to get his composure back. Stone Cold Steve Austin returning for one more match on the first night of WrestleMania 38 Great was moment. awesome. He Great had a moment. fun fight with Kevin Owens, but what happened to Austin the next night was fun for a different reason. After Austin Theory's match with Pat McAfee, oh, the, one of the most... Vince, if you really look at it or really look back at it, Vince has never really been that good at selling a stunner. His son has been fantastic at selling a stunner. Uh, his wife, Linda, awful at selling a stunner. Um, Stephanie's decent, but Vince has never really been that good. He's been okay to bad. There a lot of times he wouldn't sell it right. It's the way he would fall. But this one was one of the worst, but it's still, it was just a good moment to see. The chairman of WWE, Vince McMahon, decided he wanted a shot. With a lot of help from Theory, McMahon won and added a new WrestleMania moment to his career. Unfortunately for Mr. McMahon, his moment didn't end there. Vince's old rival, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Love this storming moment, out bro. and unleashed a can of you-know-what on Austin bro, Theory. Austin Theories was fucking hilarious. I love it. I, some people think it's overdone, but I fucking love that stunner. Of course, Austin wasn't leaving the ring without giving McMahon a stunner, but Vince, for whatever reason, <laughs> stumbled around the ring, leading to a very awkward Stone Cold stunner. I guess some things just never change. No, some things also, never change, bro. Also, it was funny to see Vince McMahon get freaked out when he heard Theory's music hit. I feel bad for Otis with this blooper, but I have to include it. In January 2022, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Chad Gable and Otis, faced Randy Orton and Matt Riddle in what was called the Alpha Academy Academic Challenge. If RK Bro won, they would get a championship rematch against Gable and Otis. The first part Glad of the I don't challenge remember was the spelling bee, and Otis started it off. The Sonic, considering four of them appear in his tag team's name. 
I always kind of like the 24-7 championship, oh, but Lord. even I will say that it outstayed its welcome. Thankfully, WWE finally decided to retire the belt, but it led to a hilarious blooper. Facts. On Raw in November 2022, Nikki Cross took on Dana Brooke with the 24-7 championship on the line. Cross won the match and the belt after about a two-minute fight. Shortly after that, this happened. She literally just dropped it, but didn't even drop it in the trash. Cross tried to throw the 24-7 title in the trash, but missed. missed. <laughs> There's something kind of poetic about this being the final image of that championship. Yeah. WWE might be a multi-billion dollar company, but its prop department needs an increased budget. Why do I say that? Well, let's look at the main event of the July 8th, 2022 SmackDown. Drew McIntyre faced Butch with Sheamus and Rich Holland at ringside. Despite the odds, McIntyre won the match. Sheamus, though, oh, the sword. The Scottish it Warrior, bent. leading to Drew taking a swing and cutting the top rope in half. It turns out WWE's ropes put up quite the fight because Drew's sword, Angela, bent. Yeah. Ironically, this isn't the first time Drew has had a weapons malfunction. Challenge. Oh, oh, here's Angela. He will have an opportunity to challenge. McIntyre was oh, wow. who experienced a prop malfunction in 2022. On NXT, Roxanne Perez took on the women's champion, Mandy Rose. It looked like Roxanne had Rose defeated, but an attack from behind by Perez's tag team partner, Cora Jade, prevented that from happening. Jade didn't stop there and went to smack her former friend with a Oh, yeah, the bell got on the skateboard. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot. I remember seeing that on Twitter. The boy. Or just go you it was a breakaway board so it just broke before she even hit her bro it was funny sort of took away from the evil heel turn but it was kind of funny to yeah see. it was funny Speaking bro of NXT, during the march 8th 2022 episode of the show braun baker tommaso champa and dolph ziggler fought it out in a triple threat match during the physical battle champa lifted ziggler up on his shoulders braun was supposed to break it up but the <laughs> lifted it and missed his target Thankfully, it was only a small mistake. And the match continued <laughs> Damn. Still, it was a pretty funny moment seeing Woo! a miss like that. So much happened in WWE in 2022. Oh. You can see the best and worst of the year by hitting the Oh, man, man. That was that was nice to go down memory lane. It's the breakaway board breaking away before contact. That's fucking hilarious. Comment down below. Let me know y'all favorite blooper from this year. Me personally. It has to be the Sami Zayn. That whole Usi thing was probably one of the funniest things I've seen in WWE in quite some time. Organically funny. He made everyone break damn near on live television and it became a thing. That is, that's what wrestling is all about. Making moments that happen randomly become, become a movement. The Usi movement is real and I love it, man. So that's one of my favorite bloopers, funny moments from WWE this year. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.